Yo, what's up? What's up, family? What's up, friend? What's up, my followers? This J again, guys. Today is another day that we're waiting for NFB news. So today you've been asking me uh, to show you guys settings of this. But I hope I have approached this. It's a Mongolian video on my YouTube, but so many of you oh does it know or you are lazy guys to <coughs> find the video so now since you have asked me to record it again i will do it and and yes it might help you to kill nfp today let me tell you uh, what you can do today as you can see this is showing up a buy right this is showing up a buy but remember this five minute time frame, this five minute time frame, when you check to 15 minute time frame, 15 minute is actually downtrend, downtrend, but currently we are facing this pullback. You will understand this when you approach 30 minute time frame. So 10 minute time frame, here it is. Now it indicates a downtrend. So what we are expecting to do today, even NFP, uh, besides doing analysis um, manually to do price action analysis, uh, my strategy shows that uh, this is going to sell. Obvious NFP is going to sell because uh, 30 minute time frame you can see is overbought and it changed direction and breaks this level 8 so it's going to go down even if you go to one hour time frame you will realize that what i'm talking about is the same thing let's go and ask for our time frame and see what it says so you can see that for our time frame also is overbought so i'm not saying I'm not telling to go and sell NFP straight. You have to do analysis. You have to do your analysis myself. I still have a time to do analysis. Uh, maybe five minutes before uh, NFP. NFP time. Uh, we have five minutes or three minutes to check what's going on. And then I will confirm if I will sell or not. But the higher probability is going to sell from my view. So then go ahead and show you the <coughs> setting of strategy. We're going to check this. <coughs> I'm not gonna um, um I'm not gonna uh, uh delete everything because it can take time. I'm just go in in and show you what you will do. You will just click the F sign and then uh, if you have any other settings you will check uh indicator you will go to many chart and choose indicator window 2 if you have two settings then you will have to check indicator window 3 i, I hope you understand it so once you have created your indicator window you can see that i have indicator window 2 because i have two settings now we go ahead and find this relative strength index which is RCI, and then you will click on RCI, you will just go ahead, period, you will set number one, apply to, you will set close, style, you will set number one, here, pixel, and color, you will set white, because we don't need any white among our settings. So now you will just go ahead and check color, I mean levels, you will click on this sign, and then go in so once you are in you can see the setups we have here level 90 5 50 15 10 and 90 is overbought description is overbought 85 description is strong sale 50 is always take profit and 15 is strong buy and 10 is oversold then style set number four pixel and then set any color of your choice by myself i chose to set uh, the red <clears throat> and then after that you will just go back and click on done 
So after clicking done, you will come back and you will see that the lines here have been created. And then we go back there. Now we will go to to a window indicator that you, you created. You will look for MACD. After after setting RSI, now we will look for MACD. <coughs> so you will click on MACD. Now the setups are already here. You will check first MA. You will just set 160. Slow MA. You will, work, you will put uh, 162. And MACD SMA. You will put number one. Apply to. Apply to. You will make sure. You have set this weighted close HLCC slash four, and then you come to styles. So main style will be one number one pixel. You will choose the color that you want, but uh, if you want to uh, your style your settings to look like mine, you just cho choose this color. And signal, just choose number two pixel, and then choose blue color. Levels is not needed. And then go ahead and click on done right and then you go back again and then look for bollinger bands right you click on it bollinger band you come to parameters period is 105 deviation is 1.180 shift is zero apply to you will just choose previous indicators data in styles, we just go ahead and choose number three as pixel, then choose blue color. Um, yes, you may choose any color that you want, is okay, but better is to choose the same color that I used, and then you will go ahead and click on done, right? So now we're going to uh, set these moving averages, it's seven moving averages. So now you will go ahead and look for moving average. After clicking on first moving average, you will, you will see that period in number one shift is zero, method is the exponential, apply to is close. Styles, you will come and set number two pixel or just to avoid the big line. And then uh, color, you will choose yellow or orange. On your side i think they almost look the same and then you will go ahead and click on done right that is first moving average that we set it then we go back again and look for moving average the second moving average that we're looking for now we click on it so period will be number two shift zero method exponential apply to close styles the same thing we did previously Number two pixel and the color is yellow. Then you go ahead and click on done. So we are going to number three moving average. We look we look for number three. We look moving average and set number three. So here it is. Period is three shift is zero exponential methods exponential apply to close styles number two. Now this time around we're going to change color from yellow to blue all right we don't need levels and then you go ahead and click on done <clears throat> so now we're going to set moving average number four we are going to look for moving average and click on it again now this time around we're going to set period number five shift zero method exponential apply to close uh, styles pixel is number two and then we set yellow as a car and then we go ahead and click on done right so now we're going to set moving average number five number five period's gonna be seven shift zero method exponential close apply to close uh styles number two pixel and the color is still the same and then we go ahead and click on done yes and we go ahead and click on the moving average again we are setting moving average number six 
period eight shift zero exponential method is exponential apply to apply to close styles number two color is still the same then we go ahead and click on done so we are going to set last moving average which is number seven moving average so this is period number nine shift zero method exponential apply to close our color is still the same pixel is still the same we don't need any levels here and then we go ahead and click on done so after doing this you will come back to your screen you will find your strategy is being set as you want then from there you know how it works you know when it touch um you know that this this is oversold when it goes and touch level eight nine here is overbought right that is overbought and then you'll be expecting for it to come back and break level eight and then we sell that's how it works guys guys good lucky i wish you all the best and i'm sure everyone is going to kill nfp today as you can see myself i can say that nfp is going to sell gold we sell it we're going to sell gold and we're going to make more money but don't lay on my information go and make sure you analyze market well if you don't just make sure you have one minute strategy from j fx and i'm sure it's gonna help you so enjoy the day guys see you later on